Coach, you guys were down by five at half. When you look at this second half and how you guys were able to, to come out, what changed and what was your message to, to the group? Uh, the message at halftime was definitely we can be better. Um, there were a few clips that we showed just overall, just a lack of uh, concentration on the defensive end of the floor, let them close. Uh, but I think we went on a 20 to five run into the third into the fourth. So uh, refocus and uh, came away with a win. I got to ask you about Uta in that fourth quarter. When you see him go off like that, I saw the you're smiling now, all, like all the guys were smiling on the bench. What was it like to kind of see him have a moment like that? It's like the epitome of, of basketball, why basketball is so special. Like um, to be able to be on the same floor with him and his journey and see him have success and the guys cheer for him. Uh, to, to me, that's why I love being around the game. Uh, he works on his game. Um, he does all the right things, and to see a person get rewarded uh, is, is a great part of basketball. Coach, two quick ones. Um, what stood out most to you about the night Ben had today? I, I think immediately uh, you saw a force that he played with, whether it was his pace and his attack of the rim, uh, and it was a relentless uh, attack towards the rim, and really just spraying the basketball. I mean, the pace that he created for us tonight, uh, uh, it'll make it hard for people to guard us. And second, just obviously Kyrie's first game. Uh, what did you see from him, and what would you like to see from him going forward? Yeah, it was great uh, to have him out there, um, you know, trying to see what units was best for him, played him with the second and the first unit, and uh, just getting a feel of uh, how we're going to, you know, piece this thing together. So great to have him get some minutes out there and, and for us to get a win while he's doing it. I guess following up on that twofold, I mean, what was, I, I know you touched on it a little bit earlier, but I mean, what was your message to Kyrie once you knew he'd been cleared and was going to come back and be available? That at the end of the day, now it's about hooping. And, uh, and I use that word right there, that um, from this day on, uh, that's what we're going to be about. Um, Basketball is factual. You get the rebound, that's a fact. You box out, that's a fact. You make the shot, that's a fact. And so we're going to make this thing factual. It's going to be about basketball, and uh, we'll live in that space. And talking about Ben, I know you, you kind of touched on it a little bit in Portland, but uh, just how much more comfortable does he seem to you physically, or is this more of an uh, emotional and mental thing where his confidence is higher? Yeah, Brian, I, I think it's all tied together. Uh, how you feel... Um, what your body feels like, uh, how you can drive your body, um, what you ask of your body. And so I think as he gets more comfortable and his body feels good and he's able to play more, um, I think he's going to unlock both the mental and physical. And so uh, for us, that, that's huge. Chuck, I got two for you. Uh, you said pregame that, you know, despite Stephen Adams, you were probably going to play small. We, we appreciate the honesty. Yeah, um, I, I tried it. That means it's going to work. And going off, I mean, there, there were definitely some times, especially in that first half, where he, he was really giving you guys some trouble, and you didn't opt to go day run or, or two bigs. Just what made you stick with that? Yeah, I thought uh, that we, you know, still spread the floor, uh, and, and I thought that was going to be, uh, you know, advantageous for us. Uh, it, it ended up being in segments good for us as they pulled him out. Uh, we were thinking about fouling him also in so, some situations where we didn't foul him, which the lack of focus, that was part of it. Um, but knew we had Markeef and knew we had Dayron, you know, in the bullpen a little bit. So uh, we really wanted to try the space. And that's why Yuta got a couple of threes of that way also. And just with Ben, I mean, these past three games, how much of it to you has been just rust being away or versus the knee, you know, mental confidence? I mean, there's, there's a couple of factors there, it seems like. You know, as an athlete, it's, it's the, the totality. You know, you want to feel good. You want your body to feel good. Um, you want to be in a good space. And sometimes uh, when you haven't played for a while and you have an ache or as your body isn't feeling the way you want it to, it affects you. And uh, it's great to see him move beyond that right now. Jacques, how are you expecting Ben to handle all the emotion that's coming his way Tuesday night in Philly? What emotion, Nick? Is, is it? <laughs> You don't, you don't think it's going to be quiet in there? A little bit. It, it's, <laughs> it's great for him. It, it's just like Portland, where he had to step up and, and make uh, free throws when they tried to foul him. It makes three out of four. It's the same sort of mental and physical hurdle that he's going to have to get through, which is great. He'll have his teammates behind him. He'll have a coach that believes in him. And uh, overall, we're looking forward to, to going playing.